ऑल इंडिया रेडियो प्रेजेंट मॉर्निंग न्यूज गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम संजय मट्टू द हेडलाइंस डिफेंस सिक्योरिटी एंड ट्रेड टू डोमिनेट एजेंडा ड्यूरिंग यूएस प्रेसिडेंट डोनाल्ड ट्रंप्स विजिट टू इंडिया नेक्स्ट वीक हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट टू ओपन अटल किसान मजदूर कैंटीन इन ऑल मंडीज एंड शुगर मिल्स to provide meals at a concessional rate of 10 rupees a plate fourth anniversary of shyama prasad mukherjee urban mission being observed today niti aayog proposes to develop over 1000 urban clusters in next 3 years mahashivratri is being celebrated across the country today and in cricket india were 111 for 5 against new zealand in the first test at wellington News about the US president's visit to India. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my friend, a friend of India, a great American president, Mr. Donald Trump. One of America's greatest, most devoted and most loyal friends. Prime Minister Modi of India thank you The External Affairs Ministry has said that India is eagerly awaiting US President Donald Trump's visit and has expressed confidence that it will provide an opportunity to review bilateral ties and further strengthen the global strategic partnership The US President will begin his maiden visit to India from Ahmedabad on the 24th of this month The two-day visit is also going to be the first standalone visit by a US president to India. Briefing the media yesterday, External Affairs Ministry spokesman Ravish Kumar said, "All issues including defense, security and trade are expected to come up during the restricted and delegation level talks between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the US president to be held on the 25th of this month in New Delhi." On trade deal, we do hope to reach an understanding with an outcome that strikes the right balance for both sides. And these are complex negotiations. We would not like to rush into a deal as the issues involved are complicated and there are many decisions which actually could affect or impact lives of millions of people on the ground and some also with long-term economic consequences. So we don't want to create any artificial deadline. Discussions are happening. Mr Kumar also said the issues relating to H1B visa are likely to figure in the talks between the two leaders. Bilateral trade between India and the US has already been growing at more than 10% per annum for the past 2 years and the trade deficit has been declining steadily. Our Ahmedabad correspondent reports that US President Donald Trump and Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate the Sardar Patel Stadium in Ahmedabad and address a public gathering. The Sardar Patel Stadium in Motera Ahmedabad will host the Namaste Trump event on the first day of President Trump's India visit. It is said to be the world's largest cricket stadium with a capacity of 1.10 lakh people. The stadium is also unique for its sustainable design and has received the Gold Green certificate from the Indian Green Building Council. It is the first stadium to be provisionally certified gold in accordance with IGBC standards. Shantanu Pratap Singh, AIR News, Ahmedabad. The Haryana government will open Atal Kisan Mazdoor canteens in all mandis and sugar mills across the state to provide affordable and cheap meals to farmers and laborers at a concessional rate of 10 rupees a plate. This was stated by Governor Satyadev Narayan Arya during his address to the budget session of the state assembly which commenced in Chandigarh yesterday. He said that 25 such canteens will be established this year. Mr Arya said the Haryana government will also provide free and concessional travel facility to 41 different categories of residents on ordinary buses of the Haryana roadways. The governor said under a new initiative women and girls belonging to 11 lakh BPL families will be given sanitary napkins free of cost during the year 2020-21. Now on to our series Har Kaam Desh Ke Naam In this series we take a look at the programs and policies of the government aimed at reaching out to the last mile of development and welfare of all. The Shyama Prasad Mukherjee National Urban or Rural Urban Mission is completing 4 years today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had launched the mission from Kurubhat in Rajnandgaon district of Chhattisgarh on the 21st of February 2016. Launching the mission in 2016 the prime minister had asserted that the mission is intended to turn indian villages into smart villages 
ये जो रर्बन मिशन है ना वही स्मार्ट विलेज है ये बात सही है बूढ़े माँ बाप गांव में रहते हैं नौजवान शहरों में चले जा रहे हैं उनको एक अच्छी जिंदगी जीनी है जहाँ अच्छी शिक्षा हो अच्छी अस्पताल हो बिजली आती हो इंटरनेट चलता हो ये उसके मन में रहता है और इसलिए वो शहर की ओर चल पड़ता है Spurred by the success of Urban Clusters, Niti Aayog has proposed a new and extended program for over 1000 clusters in the next 3 years. More from our correspondent. This is a unique program designed to deliver catalytic intervention to rural areas on the threshold of growth. Substantial part of the work identified for development in the clusters is focused on provision of basic and economic amenities. They include round the clock water supply to all household, solid and liquid waste management, adequate street lights, public transport facilities using green technology as well as tourism and skill development in the clusters. The central government has released around 1,843 crore rupees so far for this mission. Divakar, Air News, Delhi. Our Chennai correspondent gives details about its performance in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is considered one of the most urbanized states in India. However, 51.55% of the population, as per the latest census, are living in rural areas only. Most villages have several commonalities, and such villages are formed into clusters. 98 village panchayats spanning 11 districts from Thiruvallur to Kanyakumari have been identified under the scheme for development projects in three phases. The total investment under the scheme for the state is nearly 1130 crore rupees. Economic activities based on agriculture, textiles, knitwear, horticulture and sericulture, industrial support systems and allied activities that are identified as the strengths of the selected districts have been promoted under the mission. Jay Singh, AAR News, Chennai. India is awaiting clearance from the Chinese side to evacuate its nationals from novel coronavirus hit Wuhan and deliver a consignment of medical supplies to the neighboring country. External Affairs Ministry spokesman Ravish Kumar told the media in New Delhi that an aircraft will evacuate about 100 Indians. He said the medical supplies is a small way to express support to China as it continues to fight against the novel coronavirus epidemic. Mr Kumar said on its return journey the aircraft will bring the Indian nationals who could not board the first two flights The central government has released 19950 crore rupees as GST compensation to states The amount was released to states last Monday With this release of GST compensation the central government has released a total of over 1.20 lakh crore rupees towards GST compensation to the states during the current fiscal This is All India Radio giving you the news for quick news updates round the clock follow us on our twitter handle at @AIR news alerts Mahashivratri is being celebrated across the country today devotees worship lord shiva the destroyer of evil on the occasion in uttar pradesh a large number of people are reaching kashi vishwanath temple in varanasi to offer prayers devotees are also taking a holy dip in the ganges In Allahabad devotees are taking a holy dip at the Sangam more from our correspondent the pious city of varanasi is witnessing a huge rush of devotees at famous kashi vishwanath temple one of the 12 jyotirlingas of the country worshipers had started reaching the temple city one day before Lots of devotees are gathered to perform the bathing ritual at Sangam. Mahashivratri is the last bathing festival of month long Magh Mela at Prayagraj. MS Yadav, AIR News, Lucknow. In Nepal, thousands of devotees have been offering prayers at the famous Pashupatinath Temple in Kathmandu since early morning. A report. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. All four doors of the temple are open since 3 o'clock amid chants of Om Namah Shivaya hundreds of naga baba and thousands of sadhu sanyasi are performing special rituals over 1 million devotees from Nepal India and other countries are expected to offer prayers on Mahashivratri Pashupati Area Development Trust has made elaborate arrangements first time temple has been decorated with specially imported flowers around 200 artists from Delhi have made beautiful figures of Lord Shiva Ganesha and Nandi Rajkumar AIR News Kathmandu Shiva, 
The Ministry of Minority Affairs has organized the Hunar Heart event at India Gate Lawns in Delhi to celebrate the legacy of traditional arts and crafts. The 10-day event, being held in the capital, commenced on the 13th of this month and will go on till the Sunday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited the Hunar Heart and met several artisans and tasted some of the regional cuisines. Our correspondent spoke to a few people who Mr. Modi interacted with. Prime Minister had chai at Rehan Khan's stall who said that he is delighted to have this opportunity. Mr. Modi also had Bihar's special delicacy Litti Chokha at Ranjan Raj stall who while interacting with AIR said that the number of visitors have increased many fold since PM's visit. PM Modi interacted with several artisans and appreciated them for their artworks. Artisans from all across India have participated in the event. More than 250 stalls have been set up at India Gate Lawns. Anand Chaturvedi, AIR News, Delhi. Moving on to the nationwide campaign Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat. In Ladakh, the Nehru Yuva Kendra Sangathan is carrying out various activities in tune with the Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat since it was launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2015. More from our correspondent. District Coordinator Tajamul Ara tell us more about activities carried under Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat. Nehru Yuva Kendra Le Me Hamne Unki Ek Competition Karwaye Jis Me Jai First Second Aaye Unko Ham District Level Pe Le Kaya Or District Level Pe Hamne Nationalism and Patriotism Topic Rakhe Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat Ko Madh Nazar Rakhte Huye Har Saal Abhi Tak Karte Aare Through the youth cultural exchange program, the knowledge of the culture, tradition and practices of different states and UT being promoted to strengthen the national integration and unity. Youth are placing with their families in rural areas of the host state. Youth of Ladakh have presented four culture during this youth cultural exchange program in which focus were also made to provide opportunities to the school dropout youth in it. With Ramesh Chandra, this is Young Chandorma from Le Ladakh. On to sports news now. India were 117 for 5 against New Zealand in the first test of the two-match series at Wellington a short while ago. Earlier, New Zealand captain Kane Williamson won the toss and opted to bowl first. Rishabh Pant and Ravi Chandran Ashwin have been named ahead of Ridhiman Saha and Ravindra Jadeja in the Indian playing 11. For New Zealand, Kylie Jameson will make his debut. And now for an overview of today's newspapers, it's over to Subga Kaur. Thank you, Sanjay. The second visit of the Supreme Court appointed interlocutors to the Shaheen Bark protest site in Delhi is prominently noticed on the front pages. The Hindu writes, On second day of dialogue, Shaheen Bark protesters propose traffic solutions. On the forthcoming visit of U.S. President Donald Trump and his wife Melania Trump to India, the Hindustan Time writes, Melania Trump to attend happiness class at a government school in Delhi. RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat's address at Sang Samagam in Ranchi is widely noticed in the press. The Times of India quotes Mr. Bhagwat as saying, word nationalism not viewed positively these days, associated with Hitler, Nazism in many places. Many papers take note of the call by some Congress leaders for a full-time party president. The Tribune reports Rahul sole contender for Congress chief post as Tharoor seeks poll. And finally, every one of us uses the feature cut copy paste almost every day. The Hindustan Times informs us of the passing away of scientist Lawrence Tesla, the scientist who invented cut copy and paste. With that, it's back to you Sanjay. Thank you Subga. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Defense, security and trade to dominate agenda during U.S. President Donald Trump's visit to India next week. Haryana government to open Atal Kisan Mazdoor canteens in all mandis and sugar mills to provide meals at a concessional rate of 10 rupees a plate. Fourth anniversary of Shama Prasad Mukherjee Urban Mission being observed today, Niti Aayog proposes to develop over 1,000 urban clusters in next three years. Mahashivratri is being celebrated across the country today and in cricket, India were 117 for 5 against New Zealand in the first test at Wellington. And with that, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.